Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Toon Kind at 12 FPS. My name is Avi, and today I'll be playing a wonderful, well I say wonderful, but uh, he's he's actually a bastard boy. <laughs> I'm playing Shiro Uzumi, and today I am joined by... Hi, I'm Katie, and I am playing Lore. My wonderful, uh, wholesome idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and we love Lore so much. Uh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Don't be. We're we're just sitting. We're just two dudes playing a uh, playing dollhouse, I guess. I mean, this is the best dollhouse I've ever played. Screw that, man. <laughs> Oh man, I used to play Star Wars with my brothers and we'd like sneak across walls and whatnot. I'm like, I'm pretty sure looking back that was trespassing, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. So, Lore, uh, you... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've, uh, recently gotten a place to stay in a town called, <laughs> uh, Villstown. Oh, he still has no idea where he is. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you've been taken in by a, a certain, um, six-year-old homicide detective. Mm -hmm. The young man has been, uh, adopted by a six-year-old. <laughs> yeah, you, you, uh, so you're staying in a, in a place where, um... Mm-hmm. I can, I can narrate a little bit if you want. I had a, I had a bit of an idea yeah. in the opening, if you'd like. Go ahead. Okay. So really quick, uh, what are Izumi's thoughts uh, as he approaches Camille's apartment and uh, just kind of what he knows about what he's uh, potentially about to walk into? <laughs> um, he's a bit. He's all right. Uh, I'll I'll just say that uh, he's he's chill at the moment, uh, but uh, I will say that. Um, Ooh, how do I put this into words? He was told by Camille that somebody is staying at Camille's place. Uh, and was told that this person, uh, hang on, let me actually see what was written. Oh my gosh, there's actually writing. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, there's some weird guy living here for a while. He's fine, but he can be a bit much and might immediately assume you're friends. And he's just like, he's just been like, dot, 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 okay, the entire oh, time. No. <laughs> I will let you know that. Yeah, he, he went <laughs> Anyway, um... As you approach Camille's uh, apartment and start to enter, the first thing you see is this very tall young man awkwardly eating ramen and looking like he did not expect company. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just like, obviously Camille probably forgot to tell Lore anything specific. You know that Camille probably told him that people might stop by, but probably not today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, sometimes Azu when Azumi visits, it's, um, unannounced. <laughs> um, but, like, yeah, he's chill. Uh, he, uh... Lore, when you look up and see, uh, to the door, you see a uh, real cotton man, presumably a human. Um, laughing at presumably. Presumably human. a human. Um, well, that's just what he looks like. So he's probably a human. Anyway, um, <clears throat> sorry, my throat is like all kinds of weird right now. I'll say though. <laughs> And, um, he's, he's, uh, he's walked in through the door, and, um, he's carrying, a uh, a couple of, uh, of grocery bags. Like, there's probably one in each arm, <laughs> um, as he comes in, and he, um, meets your gaze. And there's a moment where, like, he's, it's not really surprised, but more like he had been expecting something, 
but not specifically you as a brow raises and then um <laughs> that oh uh expression changes into a uh, rather friendly smile and he goes oh hello Laura like chokes on his noodles because he was like mid bite and he like quickly tries to swallow and like is coughing before he recovers and he's like <clears throat> sorry um oh hi i um are you uh he like stands up awkwardly and like puts his uh chopsticks down and kind of like quickly walks over to like offer to help with groceries like uh are you i'm guessing one of camille's friends at least i hope you are otherwise uh this is awkward uh, yeah, as you could say that. Um, I actually work at the same detective agency as Camille. Laura looks so excited to hear that. Like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yes, uh, who are you? Oh, I guess, um, did Camille tell you anything about me? Or he uh, looks a little hesitant and awkward. Well, since since you're offering to help with the groceries that he has, he does let you grab at least, like, one of the bags. Laura's, uh, like, ecstatic. Yeah. Um, and, um, he's giving you an, uh, an up and down look. I'm gonna roll a quick perception. You're, uh, basically yeah, you to can see whatever he can on this you can do uh yeah perception or investigation me pulling up my notes again you're gonna hate him for this i know i know you've i i chose to meet detectives in my first fps's and i'm like oh whoops <laughs> his investigation yeah. is a plus nine. Oh my gosh what the you mutants <laughs> Oh, goodness. So he got a uh, modified 25. Of, co of course he did. Of course. Why would I expect anything <laughs> less? Uh, can I also roll just for... Yeah, uh, go ahead. Can I do an investigation? Yeah. I can yeah, do yeah. perception, but it is not as good. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. 13. That's a thing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um... Um, so, I, I can go first. So, uh, for, how tall is a Azumi? He is 5'10". You oh, are taller oh, than him. Oh, oh, de oh, dear. Okay, let's see. Quick math. He's 7 inches taller. Yeah. Than... Okay, you see this very tall man-child help <laughs> you with groceries? <laughs> and, uh... You obviously know he's like, okay, yeah, this is a human. Uh, what the flip is up with his eyes? That is not a normal hue for purple for most humans. And you're immediately like, mm -hmm, that's weird. And have you met Sammy yes, before? Yes, he has. Yeah, you're me uh, how, uh, to what extent? Uh, he has seen, if you're asking about the specific color, he has seen uh, purple before. Awesome. Yeah, you recognize this as the exact same shade of purple. Like, like, never have you seen a purple match so closely. Hmm. Um, and actually, yeah, no, that hasn't happened yet. So I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't no, not yet. Mm. Nice. <laughs> um. Yeah, that comes later. He hasn't stared at you. Um, so he kind of, uh, quickly, uh, but carefully helps, uh, set the groceries down on the, on the counter and kind of moves his ramen out of the way. Uh, you do notice that it's a very big oh. bowl of ramen <laughs> and probably, like, at least two packets. <laughs> uh, which you figure is, uh, pretty par for the course for somebody of his size, because you could also tell that he is not a weakling. Uh, he looks pretty strong. But he acts pretty, uh, polite. Okay, I, I, if you have, like, specific questions, I can also uh, answer those, because you forgot a 25. Um, I mean, this was a, this was just an investigation, so, like, that was pretty okay. far for the course. All right. Um, he does take that information regarding the, the color and, like, mm -hmm. file that away for later. <laughs> yeah, just gonna, I, I just imagine him mentally just, like, sticking that there. <laughs> <laughs> um, with your 13, though, 
Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> you're 13. You're 13. Uh, <laughs> but you're 13, uh, you don't get, like, a lot. This, uh, this is mm-hmm. a real kind, uh, young man, probably in his, uh, 20s or so. Um, like early 20s or just early 20s. blanket 20s? Okay, early, early 20s. 20s. Uh, Me remembering to take notes this time. <laughs> um, um, let's see what I can uh, put uh, down for like, um, how well, um, I know you said that like, um, um, that, uh, lore isn't good with, like, um, uh, maps, but does he know, like, world geography and whatnot? Oh, yeah, definitely. He, uh, so he's not familiar with Einquell, but he did grow up around maps, and the main issue he has with maps is any time he himself is trying to navigate with one. Okay. So, uh, it's literally, like, the most assholery curse ever, because it's like, oh, yeah, let's look at this map, and then immediately if he tries to remember anything to get somewhere, it's just gone, or it's blurry, or it's, like, specifically just, like, no, vetoed. (laughs) But his mom is a cartographer. He does know a pretty good amount about maps. Yeah, no. Also grew up with a lot of books. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no. Uh, I think that it would be fair to say that, like, just by, like, uh, looking this man over and, like, getting a general judge of his physical appearance, he does seem to be, um, he does have to have, like, uh, facial, uh, traits of somebody who's from the country of Yeddo, which is a small island country that's off, um, how do you spell that? Y-E-D-D-O. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Um, basically, uh, all you need to know about Yeddo is that it's the, the, the not Japan of, of this world. <laughs> XP Japan, got it. Yeah. Um, um, you said it was a small island, like, where? I'm uh, just curious. It's off the coast of, oh, I forgot what continent it was off of. Is it by Inqu- uh, Einquell? No, it is actually pretty far from Einquell. Um. Okay. That's, that's all I was really curious in. Yeah. Um, this, uh, and even though this young man, uh, is, well, young, uh, he dresses like he is, um, always business professional. Uh, he is wearing a dress shirt and sweater vest with a, uh, tweed jacket. Um. Looks more like the professor than the professor. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah um he's got a uh, lanky brown ha- lanky hair i'm sorry i forget your um lore is uh colorblind um but he's got lanky hair and um yeah i forgot how to spell casual casual <laughs> C-A-S-A-U-L. No. C-A-S-U-A-L. My brain stopped working? I will do my best and look it up later. (laughs) You're fine. (laughs) Yeah, you said letters and my brain just went static, so... No, you're fine, you're fine. Um, so yeah, he has long, uh, hair. (laughs) It's lighter, he can tell. Mm -hmm. Uh, he can probably tell that his eyes are darker. Um... And he dresses like a teacher. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, yeah. That's Lore's. Uh, like he's like, oh yeah, business casual. Oh, he looks like a teacher. That's cool. <laughs> Lore's impressions. Um. So, uh, yeah, he kind of helps with the groceries. Um. Did he and... introduce himself? Oh, not yet. He kind of is like. Oh, right. Um, hi, I, I'm i Lorem, uh, Parif. You can call me Lore. Uh, yeah, C- Camille was nice enough to l- let me stay here. I'm, <laughs> I've, I've been lost, and so it's, it's nice to have a roof. Oh, yes, I, uh, I see. Camille did say that somebody was staying over. Um, oh, that's good. Yes. <laughs> he looks relieved. Um, 
uh, Detective Shiro Izumi, and he holds out oh. uh, his free hand, which is uh, his left hand, actually. Mm -hmm. Is that the gloved one? It is. Oh, okay. So, uh, Lord shakes it very enthusiastically with both hands, smiling very happily. Just like, it's very nice to meet you. Um, you're from Yeto, right? So does that mean Azumi instead of Shiro? Yes, uh, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. I mean, it's your name, so why would I call you anything else? <laughs> it's a fair point to make. Um, but, uh, yes, I, I was just, uh, coming over to, um, drop these off. And, um, he's going to, like, start putting away the, the groceries. Um, do you want to roll Lord's another yeah. uh investigation <laughs> yeah i would love to roll another investigation let's hope that it's more than 30. <laughs> oh my baby you're trying so hard i believe in him i lots of people believe in him uh so mm, uh, yeah that's what i thought <laughs> oh boy maybe he just needs aggressive negativity to grow Stinky boy. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh, you're negative. I shall do the contrary. <laughs> um, but like, yeah. Uh, you do not pick up on what I was going to say, but anyway. Um, yeah, he starts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, he starts putting uh things up into like um the fridge and the pantry and whatnot. Um, oh yeah, no, Lore, oh. really quick, Lore is like totally blatant of any mood and is going to immediately offer to help. Yeah, he'll he'll allow you. Um, I'm pretty sure Fletch, Fletch is in the chat, but I don't think they can, uh, he can um, respond right now because uh, he said he was driving. But, um, I think Fletch did say that there had been, like, some modifications to the kitchen area. It's because Camille is very small. Yeah. But I... Our looms in this kitchen. <laughs> but either way, um, Azumi does seem to be, like, very, like, mindful of where he's putting things. Trying to, like, make sure that what he's putting up is within, like, reach of Camille. <laughs> Laura's looking around now, realizing this, and is, like, looking for a footstool. Like, is this kid okay? Like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he does have a stool. <laughs> okay, good. Like, he's immediately going to, like, hold up things and be like, Oh, where would Camille like this? Do you know? And stuff like that. And just, like, really bubbly and smiley <laughs> immediately. Yeah, and this entire time, Azumi has been smiling back at you. And he does direct you in, like, the right places and whatnot. Awesome. Um, you're also, um, you're also, like, took stock of this boy's outfit. It is very, um, let's see if I, I have a ref. But he's, like, wearing, like, this, like, purple, almost, not flannel, but, like, little, it's like a flannel, almost. But it's, like, thinner, just kind of, like almost like a plaid shirt, but it's not plaid. It is purple, kind of, not like his eyes, but, you know, it's nice, and it's covered in flowers. <laughs> um, and then he has, like, a longer purple shirt, and it has the same flower, just kind of bigger. Uh, he's got pink shorts, and you can you noticed that uh, probably hanging by the door somewhere was a matching pink hat uh, and yellow flats you'd never seen before definitely not in camille's size uh there's like you also noticed as you walked in you had a 25 so like uh there's like a pillow and a blanket neatly folded by the couch uh but you can tell that he's probably been sleeping on the floor instead because the couch is too small oh goodness and has been probably trying to not let camille know <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Lord! He's he doesn't want to worry. 
Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, Laura's just like chatting nicely, like, oh, hi, um, like, how long have you known Camille? Like, uh, how long have you been working together? I'm like, stuff like that. Oh, well, we've only been, we've only, uh, known each other for a few months now. Um, actually, you I must know. be good friends then. <laughs> Laura immediately assuming that anybody who knows each other for a few months must be besties. I laugh as I throttle Izumi, and he says, uh, I suppose you could say that. I just make sure he doesn't get into any trouble while he's on the crime scenes. Um, Again, Lore looks so relieved, like, oh, yay, he has somebody to look after him. He doesn't say that, but, like, that's the expression on his face. <laughs> it is so, like, almost just disgustingly obvious how much Laura already cares about Camille. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> as if he sees that, and if he were attuned, there would be, like, a big sweat drop. <laughs> oh, no. uh, here, can I roll investigation again at that? Uh, I think that's more insight. Insight? I mean, okay, yeah. insight. I think it's just a straight d20 for me. Um... Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> average. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not getting it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Deception is his best stat. Oh my stat. gosh, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> no, I, I figured. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. So he just is very smiley, obviously, like, kind of chattering about Camille. Like, oh my gosh, yeah, he's such a nice kid. I love him. Like, he was so nice to let me stay here. Like, uh, stuff like that. Yes, uh... Camille does happen to have quite the... Quite the heart, um... Yeah, he's really not good at sharing his feelings, though. Lore looks kind of concerned as he looks down. And, like, is, like, holding something to put it away, pauses for a minute, looks down, and then, like... Size concerned and like puts it away where you told him to. <laughs> oh, you know what's great about this? Even though even though Zumi's brought like all this grocery all these groceries for uh Camille, he doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> yeah, Laura is kind of this cause does Camille know how to cook? Like what kind of food is here? Um is the ramen was Lore's from his backpack. <laughs> Uh, it seems to be... Okay, here's what I can give you for, um, for the groceries themselves. They do seem to be, like, um, the basic stuff. Like, there's basic, like, fruits and vegetables and, uh, you know, stuff that she would normally want to keep in a house. Um, like, uh, eggs and whatnot. And, um... Ah, some some good staples okay yeah it's but it's just like basic things <laughs> yeah fletch says that uh camille does have preferences for uh instant stuff so lore kind of sees some of that too and just kind of like again looks mildly concerned and looks around and is taking note like maybe camille doesn't eat so uh, well, often. Like, he doesn't say that, but he's just like, ah, not a great variety. <laughs> yeah, like, Azumi, Azumi does have, like, a few, like, instant stuff, but he does, like, try to insist that, like, make, try to make sure that Camille is getting, you know, fruits and veggies <laughs> that yeah, are a bit so... fresher than the instant stuff. <laughs> yeah, he does see that and looks happy, but he does notice that, like, it is, like, not as much as, like, his family is used to. And he has a little bit of trouble gauging for other people, but he does think that maybe this is a little bit sparser than it should be. <laughs> but, like, yay, good staples, but he's also, like, eh, a little concerned. Like, oh, is this... I just realized the six-year-old is cooking. Um, hmm. Goodness, I, Azumi was saying something. I cannot remember what it was. I think it might have been. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. I think it might have been related to like how they had known each other. Um, oh, please, I would love to know. Yes, and um, 
Izumi continues. Oh, wait, no, it was about, uh, how, um, Lore mentioned that, uh, Camille doesn't seem to be very open with his emotions or something. Yeah, he's, he's what? <laughs> yeah, Azumi kind not, of, not that I could tell. <laughs> Azumi, Azumi kind of, like, um, tilts his head and then he just goes, what do you mean? Oh, Lore kind of looks, like, hesitant for a second, like, should I say this? Like... Do you think Camille would be comfortable with me saying anything about that? I don't want to, um... Lord looks like he's just trying to be really polite of people's boundaries. Hmm. He did say he had a guardian figure, is that you? Uh <laughs> I look at a certain conversation that happened in DMs, um, <laughs> and he, um, and, uh, Azumi kind of, like, blinks, and he shakes his head, and he goes, oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not a, um, I'm not a Camille's guardian, I, Oh, I, I, I mean, I said guardian figure, so, the Lord kind of looks at you, like, eyebrow raise, like, are you being weird? <laughs> no, he just uh he shakes his head and he goes, "No, no, no. I'm Well, I suppose that might refer to Detective Moria. She's the um she's the one in charge of the uh detective agency we both uh, work under. Uh she's quite the um capable uh individual. You don't know why, but Lord looks a little disappointed, but also relieved, but also like, hmm, like he wanted to meet Camille's guardian figure, but he also like, apparently, I mean, you, you're perceptive, you get the feeling that he wanted you to be Camille's <laughs> guardian figure. Oh god, oh god, how do you respond to that? I don't think you will. <laughs> I hold a zoomy and shake him again. Oh God. Um. Well, um, that's good to know that uh, he has a guardian figure. It would have been nice to meet them. Um, I don't know why. I just, I, I, I mean, he's very mature. You know that. You know him. He's a detective, etc. I don't have to explain that. But I mean, he's still six, so just concerned. Um. Lore kind of trails off and thinks for a second, um, and then kind of considers things, and he's like, it just took me a while to, for Camille, I mean, we were talking, and he just seemed to, I have a sibling about his age, and he just seemed to act like when she does not want to talk, and kind of shifts topics. He took a lot of notes, though, that was kind of funny. He smiles. <laughs> That happens to be a, a common trait between us detectives. Ah. <laughs> Lord kind of smiles, uh, like, playfully and says, where's your notebook? Uh. Camille pulled out his immediately, like, kind of just playfully <laughs> teasing Camille. Well, unfortunately, both of my hands are, uh, were occupied by groceries and I am not attuned and I do not have a hammer space. Huh. Right, I'm still learning about tunes, to be honest. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, uh, I don't know. That, that's kind of a new experience. Sorry, my audio cut out. What did you say? Oh, yeah, no, you're fine. He's just kind of, like, musing, like, oh, yeah, I'm still learning about tunes. So, I, I, for whatever reason, I wasn't really aware that Einquil was a place. Uh, but I'm learning a lot so far. He looks kind of like, yeah happy with that. I see, and where did you say you were from? Laura kind of shuffles, and, uh, do you wanna... Uh, do you wanna roll insight or perspective or something, and yeah, just like, I'll, I'll, there's, I'll, is there even a point? I'll roll insight, but I will say his passive insight, like, without, without rolling or anything, is a 23. I know. Alright, uh... He rolled insight that is a modified 20. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's cool to know, but uh, passive is 20. Okay. So you get that the fact, like, this kid is, like, not sure how to tell you something. 
and kind of figuring, trying to figure out the words of how to basically, <laughs> you don't know this, but basically say I am lost forever. Uh, <laughs> um, and trying to explain why he knows where Yetto is, but not his home. Oh my gosh. Uh, so he's just kind of like, it's also really funny. I feel like to Azumi that this very tall young man is like shuffling nervously like a child. Like you swear that Camille has done these same body languages. Um, uh, does, uh, before Laura continues, does Azumi have like a comment or is he just going to like wait? <laughs> that is if you're uh, able to say. Uh, well, I mean, t t uh, he like stumbles on his words as as for a moment and then like takes a deep breath and decides to like, you can see the resolve of like, no, I'm going to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm from a small place called Ordinal Point. And, uh, so this is me, Katie, you, uh, you know that you've heard of Ordinal Point, but you, you for the life of you, you can't remember where it is. Huh. Or really what happens there so much as, like, you remember, like, there being, like, oh, like, yeah, yeah, that one country or something had, like, a settlement program, and I think Ordinal Point was one of them. And you know that it was, like, oh, yeah, it's fairly new. It's, like, oh, around 25 years. Like, you can name facts, but for the life of you, you don't remember where it is. Huh. He finds that interesting. Yeah. Um, so Laura's just, like, yeah, I'm from a place called Ordinal Point, and... <laughs> But he kind of looks like, again, he's struggling how to phrase this. I have a curse where I'm basically lost and I can't exactly remember where it is. <laughs> he looks pained. You're cursed. Uh, to be lost, yeah, it's kind of why, for whatever reason, I'm in Einquil. He looks, again, really confused at how he got here. See, that is rather unfortunate. Yeah, I'm, I'm making the best out of it. He smiles and you can tell it's genuine. <laughs> uh, yeah, he looks a little bit, like, a little concerned by this. Like, okay, n he sees why Camille let you, uh, let you stay now. <laughs> And he's he's kind of like, <laughs> hmm, that sounds rather rather like. <laughs> Actually, I think what he says is um. Do you happen to know how this curse came about? Lord kind of looks down, and decides to like he looks back and decides to take a seat. And kind of looks like he sighs and looks kind of disappointed and sad. And then kind of like looks back up to you with like, not sad puppy dog eyes, but like, he's not trying to get anything from you, but you can tell like he's legitimately sad. And he's like, no, we have no idea. My family has tried for my entire life to figure out why. But as I got older, it just got worse. And when we went to people to try to break the curse, um, I think the spells were like... Uh, he like thinks for a second, closing his eyes, like greater restoration or remove curse. None of them worked. He like looks at you concerned and he's like, I, you know, it's, they were able to tell it was a curse. So yeah, but um, he kind of trails off again, and baits his lip because for whatever reason, he had a much easier time talking to Camille than he is like another adult. <laughs> Yeah, give me a um, second, because I'm going to, like, roll something and then double check. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, he definitely knows those, uh, <laughs> those spells. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, you know then they're, they're usually able to remove most curses. Yeah. So you're just like, oh, dang, that's pretty potent. Um, yeah, so... Curse and... Greater Restoration, stuff like that. Which are pretty high-level spells, too. Yeah. Greater Restoration included. Like, oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, they did not work. Um, 
so he kind of bites his lip and he's like, so basically what happened is, um, we knew a little bit about the curse. Um, basically we knew that when I was 18 that either we'd figure something out or I was not going to be able to go home. So, uh, I, uh, they packed me a, a bag just in case the day before my birthday and he kind of, uh, like uses his shoulder to gesture to where his backpack is by the door or by the couch just just like over there and he's like and um i woke up on my birthday and for whatever reason i'm he looks so confused he's like i'm here apparently i was in toontown first and then i got to what is this again Ville's town he looks yeah, like not Ville's sure Ville's like he's yeah, he literally looks like he's having trouble remembering the name. Like, more so than, like, just, oh, yeah, I kind of forgot the name. Like, almost like the name is, like, hard for him to remember, like, to grasp. Like, legitimately having trouble remembering where he is. And he's like, yeah, I, apparently, Camille said that it's, <laughs> I was there just like, a few days ago, but now I'm here, and apparently it's across the continent, so, um, I mean, in the... I mean, he kind of trails off, but you kind of hear him mumble something about a box and then sigh and then just kind of smile at you like, eh. Well, I mean, I make the trip quite often with regards to, well, public transportation and uh, um, teleportation stations. Do you think it might have... I don't know. I know. <sighs> Camilla said something similar. I know for a fact I didn't use any of the teleportation circles because I know I would have remembered those because they do not have them where I'm from. I see. So this might just be another factor of your curse, then. Yeah, it's a little disconcerting. You can imagine he smiles again, like, kind of, like, legitimately concerned, but you can tell he's, like, not lying or anything, but he is kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> hmm. You see him kind of, like, think to himself. Um, also, you did find out this kid just turned 18. Just recently turned 18. Oh my god! Yeah, he's this, he's a kid. This this is he a literally child. Said he, he literally said he woke up on his 18th birthday away from home on a different continent. Yeah, and he's just like, jeez. Jeez, kid, are you alright? And, and this kid is like, and this kid's being bubbly and talking to you and being happy and like, and he's like, oh yeah, I just woke up here. You see, like, Azumi kind of like, pause as he thinks and like, takes in like what you've told him, but uh, he goes, you've only recently turned 18, yes? Oh yeah, it was just a, a few weeks ago. And yet you seem to be taking this quite in stride. I mean, I've had my entire life to prepare for it. <laughs> he kind of laughs. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, my parents did what they could, but I mean, I got good parents, so they kind of helped me through those emotions. For whatever reason, part of the curse is I can write them. I know my address, but not... I, like, I write their name on it, and suddenly it just ends up with them somehow, and when they write me a letter, I somehow get it, and I don't know how, so, like, I can talk to them, at least. Yes. That was a happy discovery. Yes, at least there was that. Um, I rolled a deception that was a 19! <laughs> oh my gosh, deception on, on what did... what? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can't know, so I don't know. Uh, you can, uh, wait, you're, you have a flat D20 for insight, right? I mean, I can try. <laughs> oh, would, man. I would laugh. Yeah, no. <laughs> F in the chat, yeah, no. Azumi is such an honest person. Yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely wasn't put off by the fact that you said you have good parents. Def absolutely not. Um. <laughs> yeah, actually, to drive at home, he, like, looks up at you and he's just like, you make me think of my obby, honestly. It, uh, their name's Shoal. Uh, I think you'd like them. He smiles. 
And you also know, like, Abby, he's not calling him dad or mom, huh? Abby? Yeah, uh, Abby. Like, A-W-B-Y. He kind of just, like, counts it on his fingers as he spells it and looks up, like, you, you good? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm afraid I'm not quite sure what the, what that means. I haven't heard it before. Oh, okay. Um, he kind of rubs the back of his neck and he's like, uh, I, I have multiple parents. My parents are Polly, so I have, ah. I have, I have dad, mom, uh, Noma, um, Abby, and, uh, oh shoot, what was it? <laughs> I have too many parents. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, uh, Mom, Dad, uh, Pops, uh, Nama, Abby, and Nami. I see. He tells you that. He's like, I, I also have quite a few siblings, and <laughs> he smiles really happily talking about his siblings. I can imagine that. Certainly have quite a, quite a big family in that case. It's good that you're yeah. able to, uh, keep in touch with them. Yeah, I'm... He looks really, really genuinely happy, and he kind of has like a somber look, but it's like nostalgia and happy, and he's, he kind of looks away. He's like, I'm, I'm really happy about that, too. We were worried. Hmm. Well, at the very least, they seem to have done their best to help you prepare for this, but in any yeah. case, I am... Um... Hmm. Shoal knows a little bit about magic, so that helped. He he um he kind of helped us. Uh, that's how we. That's how my parents uh, met them. Um, he worked at our shop and uh, helped me out when I was younger. Uh, find the people who might be able to help with the curse. So yeah, I I really like him. He even tried to show me magic, and Lore looks like he's laughing so much internally, just like. But I bombed it really bad. Well, you're not that, quite that uh, skilled with magic, then. With magic? No, I... <laughs> he kind of flexes. He's like, I'm, I'm better with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he kind of laughs at that, and he goes, oh, Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's not for everybody, I suppose. Um, mm -hmm. You do take note that he'd said his family shop. Yeah, he did... Uh, take note of that. In fact, he goes on to ask, um, what exactly did your, uh, does your family do? Oh, well, Lord kind of thinks, well, for multiple generations, um, we've been printers and cartographers, so, um, I grew up with lots of books. That's how I knew about Yeto. Um, he kind of looks off to the side, thinking, kind of, like, tapping his finger on his chin. He's like, I don't know why, but for, I can look at maps? But when I, and then he looks confused again, but when I try to find places, the information just kind of goes away and I'm lost again. He sighs. Um, but yeah, it's called, uh, Paraf, um, <coughs> what did I call it? Crawling. Uh, it's called Paraf Presses. Um, I, I helped Pops with the, with the presses and, um, I would help with uh, some of the bookkeeping and, um, I would write letters. I, I'm, I'm, I got... <laughs> he smiles kind of uh, sheepishly. I, I got pretty good penmanship, so. Um, but yeah. Alright, um. Pair of presses, I don't believe. And he kind of like yeah. brings a hand to his chin and he's like, I don't believe I. You actually kind of. It sounds like maybe you know them. But you've never known where they were, and you're like, Ordinal Point, but I kind of have heard of the Paris, maybe? Because, um... Uh, yeah, just, I'll give you that information. You're perceptive as flip, so, like, I can't necessarily lie to you at all. <laughs> well, and, to uh, be I fair, Ironically, lore is an open book. <laughs> to, to be like, fair, I'm fine some, with it. something like, uh, trying to recall something like that might be more history than it is, like, perception or anything. Yeah, no, but they've been around a while, and they do uh, they do work with, like, documentation for government stuff and whatnot, so it would make oh, sense that... yeah, no, Azumi yeah. would probably know them. Exactly. So you're just like, huh, I think they do... I think they do more than just print books. So you kind of know that information. Out of curiosity, does pair of presses do anything for uh, government work? 
not oh just, yeah we do a, not yeah. just their uh, own government yeah no um uh, yeah for whatever reason we've been pretty secure so uh yeah we we we've done passports we've done like government documents um nama and and pops can notarize things and um shoal has some connections so does shale uh let's see um I was working on my notary before I disappeared, just in case, but, like, um, he thinks again. He's like, uh, we do special archival prints of books. Uh, we've done some important encyclopedias for, uh, like, official government libraries. Um, let's see. We've done, uh, we do, like, um, special bindings, uh, embossing, et cetera. We do it all. Yes, I... Hmm. It's odd. I feel like I have... T- heard of um well yeah that would make sense considering we've been around for a while he smiles yes um a couple generations i think like uh he counts like a couple greats grandparents i think i don't actually hmm he seems to like not remember how long (laughs) you know that's he's he's not too concerned about uh how long it's been he's um Mm -hmm. hmm. oh he does he does put like, oh yeah, we used to live somewhere on our continent before. Recently, we moved to Ordinal. Ord- Ordinal's not that old. It's it's a recent settlement. It's only got like, uh, it's only about twenty five years old, and there's only about like forty ish people. He like thinks he's like, well, technically, he left. There's only forty one now because I'm not there. I see. Uh, hmm. He does pause, though, and he thinks, um, for, for, uh, like, out-of-character stuff, uh, Azumi has worked with somebody who was a government official, um, so, like, Mm -hmm. uh, in Yedo, so he's like, hmm, this does seem familiar for some reason. I wonder if this will Mm -hmm. get me anywhere. (laughs) Yeah, Lore, Lore has seen some things, definitely. Yeah, um... But in that case, uh... He did say that he worked with, like, uh, documentation and files. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of documentation Zazumi might have been close to. Uh... Well, there's official government, like, laws, uh, regulations, uh, procedures, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. All of that needs to be archival quality. I, myself, I think I've explained this. My dad is also a printer and my mom's also a photographer, which is why I'm just like, I don't have to research background for this character. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, no, I think, I think Azumi kind of just, like, you see him, like, think about this, like, uh, considerably. Like, he's, he's definitely, like, taking it into consider. Cons- I dropped something, give me a sec. Uh, he's oh, yeah. taking it into uh, consideration, and like, there's the impression like this is uh, a detective. He might try to see if there's like anything he can get out of this, um, to like, uh, as if to like uh, get more info. Um, but like, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll give you something really quick. You you did first off notice that like Vor said he had six parents. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And um, you also uh, oh shoot, what was I gonna say? You were thinking about if you could get anything. Vor kind of looks up and he's like, I know you're a detective. I can just answer what you're thinking. Like I'm I don't really have anything to hide. No, I just wonder if it's at all possible to see if there is anything else that can be done for you, not just in relation to um, greater restoration and whatever else you mention. Well, that's, uh, he looks touched. He's like, that's really kind of you. Thank you. Of course. I am a detective, after all. It is our duty to help those who need it. I mean, Laura kind of look, has this look on his face, like, in theory. <laughs> He's like, Lots of people have a job where they're supposed to do something and don't do it, so it's still <laughs> nice of you. Um, you'll get me started. <laughs> oh, I will gladly get you started. I would love to hear about what you do. I mean, it's fascinating. I, I remember reading about um, different professions and whatnot. I mean, 
there's not a lot of businesses in Ordinal Point. So, I mean, I mean, Camille and I talked about the fact that we like the same kind of books and everything. So I'd love to find something in common with you. Ah, yes. Camille does like books. I, uh, I did. He's got some great ones. Like, Laura looks like so, like, obviously like not obsessed but you can tell like books are a passion as he looks at the at uh, the shelves that Camille has he's just like you can tell he's like I love the books here hmm. out of curiosity would you happen to know the um the author um uh what was his name Yui Nakamura I'm gonna. I, I, Katie doesn't know, but I'm guessing War probably does. Uh, uh, I can roll for it if you want. Yeah, roll like history. history. Roll history. Yeah. Because this lore is has pretty good history, so I'm excited. But because this isn't this is an author, I would say for like backstory reasons, you can have advantage if oh, you that need would it. Be awesome. I might because I am clinically a horrible roller. Okay, let's see. Yeah, he has a plus five to history. <laughs> Backstory! Also, he has the sage background because he might be a fighter, but he was not a soldier. Um, I mean, that's I'm fair. Trying to, I'm trying to remember how to... He actually knows of quite a few languages. Because <laughs> not all of his parents are human. Nope, yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Let's try advantage, please. I really want to know. Dice parser, I will kill you. Why? Actually, uh, you know what? I'll just give it to you. With, thank you. Okay, with a plus five in history, mm -hmm. your passive history would be a 15, and given your background, this would make sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm just such bad, so bad at rolling. <laughs> this is an FPS. We could do whatever we want. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. I'm so. I just like tell me about the author. I myself love books. All right. This uh, Yui Nakamura. I can't read. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> Yui Nakamura is a uh, is actually a pretty recent uh, author. He is a uh, and he is an adult. He is in his like mid twenties. But he is most well known for uh, mystery novels. Um, his most famous book is uh, is. Did you say murder mysteries? No, just mysteries. Mysteries. Okay, um, I'm sorry. I don't mean to disrupt you. How do you spell his name? I'm uh, just trying let me to type remember. that out in the FPS. Thank you. Role. I just want to sure that I get these notes because it might come up later. Yeah. <laughs> considering who my friends are becoming to be. <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, uh, Yui Nakamura. Uh, uh, did you write it in nuts and bolts or? 12 FPS, the, the roll zone where you were okay. rolling your dice. You can go on, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, he, um, his most famous book is a is a murder mystery uh it's called murders in a fog um this book was about uh was about a uh, a series of murders that happened in a small town uh and as you would you would expect from the title the uh, uh the fog did play like a major role in the mystery um this author is from Yeddo. Mm hmm Sorry, I'm just like... <laughs> I like, this is important for Lore. <laughs> I need to... <laughs> lore, Lore! <laughs> um... Yeah, so, yeah, uh... Laura perks up at that and smiles, and he's like, "Oh, actually, a lot of the times we work with other companies, uh, so our names not aren't always on the on the prints, um, so much as like in, on the back end of things." And so, yeah, we actually helped print some of those books. Isn't his most famous one like "Murders in the Fog"? We printed a, a couple um, prints of those. Uh, he like thinks for a second. He's like, "It, it like had a series of murders in a 
small town. Um, yeah, oh wait, he's from Yeddo. Do you know him? I don't know him personally, but I do know the uh, the detective he uh, he worked with while he was writing the book. Cool. I didn't know he had sources like that. I mean, we print a lot of books, so. No, yes. Um, uh, he was he was a mystery novelist, and actually, that that detective, they went to the same high school together. Laura looks like confused about high school, and then like, oh, brightens up like, oh, right, high school. <laughs> Obviously, homeschool. <laughs> oh yes. Um. Yes. How does how does, I'm sorry, how does high school work? It's like different grades or he looks like legitimately confused about like the idea of an educational institution. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's a great idea, but like I have no context. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, Zuby kind of like uh, glances in your direction like, oh, you, oh yeah, you're homeschooled, aren't you? And then he, uh, uh, he. Small town. Uh, mm -hmm. Laura smiles and laughs. Small town. Small town, yes. Um. Uh, well, uh, thank you, baby. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes, but it was adorable. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's so cute. I, I think he was just excited by, about something. But he continues and says, uh, well, um, high school, uh, usually depends on, uh, what country you're in, but in ghetto, yes, it's, um, they tend to be separated by um, grade level, usually by how old they uh, are. And grade is. level is okay. Grade level is ages. Okay, he looks like closing his eyes and trying to remember. <laughs> Though, if I'm to be honest, um, sometimes an age doesn't quite correlate with a uh, student's knowledge. Or no, their it does skill, not. <laughs> Yeah, my little sister Kettle is far more advanced <laughs> than I am in certain things. He laughs really happily. Yes, and Camille is far above his um, his peers in school. Oh yeah. Oh man, I wish he could meet my little. Uh, she's around the same age as he's. Uh, she's she's five, so Camille's six. They would get along so well. Uh, oh yeah, she's probably going to be an artificer. I'm not really familiar with. Um, he like thinks like classes or anything like that but she can build like anything <laughs> is that so so she's an artist yeah huh. I i'm guessing um probably considering all the things she tinkers with i mean pops helps her out but like oh my gosh she <laughs> tore apart our presses one time to make something i i, I yeah I, he's he smiles a little bashfully i i gave it to he laughs, <laughs> looking sheepish just like I, I gave it to Camille, I thought he would like it. <laughs> that was rather sweet of you. I mean, I mean, he pauses. I mean, Camille would—he's so nice, and I wanted to give it to him. Uh, he is beginning to understand what uh, Camille meant. <laughs> Meant by, by what? Camille meant the, uh, by this guy being uh, a bit much and all immediately assuming that they're her friends. And he's just like, ah. <laughs> he's like you inwardly like, he's inwardly like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, no, he, uh, Laura's already like, oh, Azumi, friend, uh, add to the list. Oh my god. <laughs> He'll probably legitimately verbalize like, oh yeah, no, we're friends soon. <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna worry about that uh, reaction later. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, um, Azumi nods, uh, but he um, continues to say. But as I was saying, in, in regards to um, your curse, I um, well, I have to admit <laughs> that I don't have the same connections here in Iquil that I did in Yaddo, but... Um, I mean, that would make sense. It's different continents. <laughs> yes. Islands, continent, but yeah. He shrugs, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is what it is, but I can see what I can do in order to get you the help you need. If there I mean, is a way to uh, 
find that help, that is. You don't have to go out of your way, but yeah, I'm not going to say no to help. He smiles. And honestly, I, I get a little frustrated when people say no to help. He like, he looks off to the side and he's like obviously talking about Camille. Oh dear. He goes back to smiling genuinely. He's like, sorry. No, you're fine. Hmm. Is something concerning you about Camille? I mean, uh, he looks very seriously at Azumi for a minute. Like, what the hell do you mean? Like, he doesn't say that, but it's like, what? <laughs> like, kind of confused by your question? Just like, and then he goes on to say, like, I mean, he's six years old and a homicide detective. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about him. Like, I know he can handle it for the most part. He's advanced and whatnot, but he's still six years old. Yes, he is six years old. But even then, he does have individuals looking out for him. I know, but, like, even with a support system, he's still six. I mean, I'm never going to stop him from doing what he loves. I mean, I think it's amazing what he's able to do. I mean, I can't do any of that. And if I'm going to trust somebody to help us catch criminals and stuff, I mean, who better than Camille? I trust him. I mean, I'm sure that you're... I'm glad that he has you. You seem pretty great. I like you. Hang on. Lore forming attachments easily. Oh, he is imprinted. Sure does. Oh, I can type. Um, I can't. I'm glad you can. Uh, so, a uh, fun fact about Azumi and his oh, race. No. He is, uh, he gets advantage on wisdom saves. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh. Is that a wisdom save, though? That was a wisdom save. You said, you said, uh,. Uh, should I roll something to see if I uh, know anything? No, because he... I yeah, mean, you can. You can, no. you can, like, either perception or investigation, but he, like, um, you say something along the lines of, like, you think Azumi is pretty great, and he just kind of, like... <laughs> Oof. Yeah, no, Azumi is, like, uh, Azumi kind of just gives you, like, a soft chuckle, and he says, <laughs> that's rather nice of you to say, I just do my best. Um, I am gonna quickly say, uh, I, I'm not trying to be like, oh, give me advantage, I'm just like, Lore, even when he doesn't know something, he usually it gets a little suspicious when stuff like this happens, especially with how many people he knows in his family, and he did say Azumi made him think of his uh obby and so he's just gonna raise an eyebrow and be like i mean you don't have to lie to me if you don't think you're great <laughs> um hmm. he seems to start looking at you a little bit more suspiciously and he's like hmm. hmm i mean i'm not gonna change my mind about you but you sure like to hide things too i mean i guess that's a trend with detectives he smiles a little like crooked Ah, uh, disgusting modifiers. He just shakes his head and he says, No, I... I I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. I, um... Hmm. Lori, like, still doesn't believe him. Yes. Yeah, no. Azumi just looks... Confused. That's all. Um... <laughs> really quick, Laura's just like, mm, you don't get a lot of compliments that you can handle, do you? <laughs> Smiles. Well, anyway. <laughs> Is that a Zoomy or you? Yes, no! <laughs> That's no? no? That's that not was, an answer, that, Avi. That, that was a Zoomy, that was a Zoomy. <laughs> he says, Laura's just gonna be like, mm-hmm. Yeah, well, 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 he smiles. He's like, we'll work on that. I mean, <sighs> I guess you need to hear it, but uh, you're, you already count as a friend. We did only just meet. I mean, yeah, but you, we just met and you offered to help me with my curse. 
That's just common decency, isn't it? No, not really, considering the fact that I already tried a lot of things and you're going to go out of your way to contact people you know and use your system of, like, it doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> he looks very dubious at you and he's like, hmm, yeah. Hmm. You don't understand how far people normally go for people, do you? Y you already care quite a bit. Also, huh? oh, sorry. No, no. He's like, also, I'm not going to say no to friends. So I hope that you can learn to consider me one. He doesn't respond to that. He just kind of like looks at you kind of like surprised a little bit. Flora looks so worried. <laughs> Before like he just kind of like obviously worried like it's melting off of him like why are you surprised sir uh, but he just he does um sigh and relent and he says well if i can't change your mind uh, no <laughs> no i didn't think so um yeah you don't know how stubborn parrots can be Evidently, quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> yep. Um, but yes, I. Hmm. Actually, he's he's back to beaming. Like, yep, we're stubborn. You're stuck with me. That curse of yours that wouldn't affect any. Um, you said it doesn't affect communications. <sighs> Uh, at least not with my family. I don't know anybody else. All right, well... I just, uh, I, I met the... He, like, thinks about, like, the people he's met so far, and he's like, I met the guy in the box, uh, the professor person, and then I met what? Camille, oh. hmm. and hmm. he stops. Yeah. Did you say you met the professor? <laughs> oh, do you know him too? He, like, perks up. Uh, about so tall, absurdly long scarf, curly hair absurdly long scarf oh and the things he uses it for are kind of funny he like thinks back to like when the professor had it in his mind wrapped around his wounds <laughs> and he's just like yeah no he's pretty tall it was kind of nice to have somebody taller I'm crying because, uh, technically speaking, Laura is taller than, uh, the professor. It's just by yep. a few inches. <laughs> yep. Uh, I think they said the, uh, they were, like, four, uh, no, okay. six, six, four. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, as, as uh, Laura is, like, six, five, six, six. So he's about an inch or two taller than professor, and he's <laughs> probably wider. <laughs> no, and I'm... definitely more muscled. <laughs> Yes, no, I, I am, I am acquainted with the professor, he... Oh, that's awesome. Wow, wow. Lord, like, looks down, he's like, oh, my friends seem to know each other. Huh, that's kind of cool. I... Well, I think it's, that happens to be quite the case with, um, certain people, certain people in Iquil, especially those who travel quite a bit, they tend to get around a lot. Though in Camille's case, I he kind of hesitates and then <laughs> sit, and then um, Camille has a tendency Lord, like, to poke his nose into things. <laughs> Lord like is like, oh yeah, no, I I kind of figured that considering. Well, he saw a strange person looking at a map for a ridiculously long amount of time and decided to ask what the flip is going on, and now he's my friend. <laughs> Laura kind of smiles like, ha. <laughs> but yes, I am acquainted with the, uh, with the professor. Um... Yeah. Do you know why his box would kidnap someone? Laura looks like legitimately confused. Like, do you know why his box would kidnap someone? His... what? <laughs> his... his time machine. Uh... 
It's bigger on the inside. Oh, do you not know about the uh, his, I like know... snap, like the ellipsis? Uh, he like makes a hand gesture and he says, "I I know that the professor is an alien and a time traveler. I have not actually oh. been inside well, his makes... ship." Um, or it's just like well, that makes things easier. And he just uh, he just says, um, "I've not personally." been inside the ship so I cannot make a um a clear assumption um but uh Lord kind of thinks for a second like do you... Camille said that too like he met the professor but didn't go inside his box is it like rare to get inside his box because it was pretty easy for me well both times well all the times I've met with the professor, it was a fair distance away from his ship. So I've never oh. seen it in person. I mean, I've never seen him out of the box, so... <laughs> Lore kind of laughs. <laughs> yeah, no, Lore kind of laughs, and he's like, I was just kind of walking, it's kind of when I first got here, I was kind of walking around, and there was, like, this older lady, I think they called her UPAN. Yeah, I don't know, it's... she looked conceptual. <laughs> he kind of laughs. Yeah, um, uh... She yelled at me to look at that. Uh, well, not yelled, but she asked me to look, uh, to check on the man in the box, but I kind of forgot to get her name and the professor's name, and I wandered over to the ellipsis. It was kind of hard to find. I mean, I can't see that it was red, so um, I... The door is open, I went in. I didn't really think about it, and then there was... Uh, well, Amber pointed again at me for a while but like then the ellipsis like locked me in he looks so confused and then the professor knows Secret... amber oh yeah and then the goat man seeker or whatever told me i was a protagonist and grabbed me and we went to check on the professor and he, he wasn't looking so hot but yeah <laughs> laura just looks baffled and confused no that was me i'll be like laughing but like I know, but, like, that's just the expression on poor Lord's face. Like, this happened when I first arrived here. Zuby's just sitting... Well, he's standing, actually. <laughs> Zuby's just standing here, and he's just like, Hmm. Okay. I kind of raises an eyebrow at that, like, he's just is something like, wrong? No, I... Hmm. First of all, um, I sh I feel like I should say out of character. Azumi has <laughs> Azumi has met Amber. He does okay. not know who Amber knows. So the fact that one <laughs> professor knows Amber and two Lore knows Amber is yep. so wild to him. This is why Lore is like, why all my friends seem to know each other. Like, that's totally, like, not coincidence at all. Like, oh, what are the... This is just funny, huh? <laughs> this is just... Oh, my God. And then he mentions, mentions like, a goat man. <laughs> he mentions a goat man. He's never met Same this secret. goat man, so he's just like, okay. <laughs> but now you know Amber knows a goat man. <laughs> Amber knows a goat man. And apparently so does the professor. Which means, yep. by extension... Arata might know both of these people! <laughs> yep! And the we just kind of like... And they were checking in on the professor. And they were checking in on the professor. And like, um, Izumi just kind of like... Nor said he didn't look so swell. Yeah, no, uh... I know, I know, um... I know from the FPS the other day, um, mm -hmm. Arat, uh, Azumi did pick up on, like, some things. I listened to that, yeah. so yep. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> okay. Look, he has an open book about mm, information. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, um, Azumi kind of, like, rubs a hand against his face, and he goes, that's certainly quite the introduction to this country. Yeah. Uh, Lore kind of like leans his uh, head on his hand on the counter you know just like huh he looks really tired like 
There hasn't been much uh, time for just sitting. Hmm. Especially when you meet somebody like that on your first time. He kind of gets quiet and like, all right, he does a long stare. Roll a, a wisdom save with disadvantage. Disadvantage? He has advantage yeah. naturally. Okay, so... then just do a straight roll. All right, cool. Backstory. Oh my god. What do you roll? I'm trying to. Oh, you find yourself feeling afraid. Like, not at lore, not at anything particular, just like this growing anxiety that turns into like a full, like you're not sweating, but like a full sweat fear that just overtakes you. Hmm. You didn't make me. Um, but it quickly fades with your advantage, and Lord kind of looks up like, are you, oh, sorry, are you good? Like, concerned, like, he might know what happened. He looks, hmm, I'm just gonna roll a charisma save. <laughs> no, he's fine. Uh, he looks more confused than anything else. Um, mm -hmm. and he, um, he says, um, what exactly was that? The Lord looks so apologetic. He's like, oh, sure. I didn't, he calls you sir. He's like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, he looks really disappointed in himself. He's like, I got a weird eye thing. Um, sometimes if I stare too long, um, and somebody sees my eyes, they get afraid. I don't know why. Well, I kind of actually do know why, but not exactly. He looks kind of, again, confused. Afraid? Yeah, they get afraid. He kind of looks at you like, yeah, I, I said that. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, like, making, like, a few, like, mental connections in his head. Mm -hmm. um, and he goes, is that why the they, they are the, your eyes aren't the colors? the colors that they are. Lore kind of looks confused, and he's like, well, I don't know why they're purple, but, I mean, there was an accident when I was younger, and my eyes got stained uh, this color, and um, it kind of gets quiet. There was some side effects for a while until I could get over them, but sort of, yeah? He's like, why do you ask? No. Um... Hmm. I'm not sure if I should say this. Uh, he looks, like, slightly hopeful but confused. Like, do you know some? No, it seems to me that the color purple seems to be associated with the fear rather often. Well, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of literary texts and whatever that use it for, like, a uh, comparison and whatnot that makes sense. What is... Hmm, never mind. <laughs> He kind of like trails off like that's a dumb question and he's like i i'm it, it caused me to be colorblind so i don't really understand color super well i mean it happened when i was like six years old so i don't have a lot of memory for it i see yeah what exactly so was, what, the, oh, what sorry? exactly was the um the incident that caused this oh well so he kind of looks sad and he's like well my dad my bio dad, I guess I should specify. Um, he's he's the original Parif. Um, I'm I'm the oldest in my family for context. Um, so my other siblings were well. He thinks for a second, trying to remember. As I'm trying, <laughs> pulling up now. <laughs> take your time. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Uh. He's like, yeah, my I, my little siblings were around three, and uh, just just little little ones. There was Levi, Tefra, and Vale. And uh, do you want to roll history on those names really quick? Yeah. That is a ten. If I That's a ten. You. <laughs> they sound kind of familiar. Like, how familiar is Azumi with maps? Uh, he doesn't, um, 
Or geography. With geography, he is <laughs> kind of familiar. He knows he knows okay. his way around like a world map. Like he could probably point out a few countries, mm-hmm. but not like a uh, smaller, uh, but not mm-hmm. like smaller areas. Uh, you recognize these names as stuff to do with geography. You don't know what they are, but they're like geography references. And uh, you also think about the fact that Laura's name was Lorem, and you kind of mentally face Palm at his parents. Um, but he goes on to continue, uh, like, I was about six, and, um, I was helping with some little things in the press room, and there was an accident where the ink my father was working on, uh, got into my eyes, and, um, it, it, it did this, um, turned them purple, um, he looks confused again, because color, he doesn't remember what purple looks like, um, and uh, he's like, they turned him purple, and I remember getting afraid, and it, it took me a while to get over being af- afraid. His voice kind of trembles. Um, but I remember my dad getting really mad at the at the client and canceling the contract, and he kind of trails off. He gets nervous. Uh, we, we know something happened, but we don't know what. He disappeared. Um... And so did our client files, uh, besides. So we think something bad happened. Uh, the ink apparently wasn't supposed to be something we were working with. And the client had given it to us anyway. Uh, I don't really, we don't really know, because it was something just just Dad was working on at the time, which back then he used to do. I, we didn't have, uh, we didn't have um, the others yet. We didn't have Forrest or Dot or... Um, sorry, that's Pops and Nama. Um, they, they weren't around yet, so it was just us, and, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. You were rather young at the time, right? So you wouldn't remember yeah. who, the, who the client was? Yeah, and, and Dad was the one who was, I mean, Dad was the printer, my mom's the cartographer, so he was running the presses, um. Mom was more busy with, um, we, we live in a, a small town, so she was working on some of the borders, and um, there was a new shop, and so she was, you know, doing the property lines and whatnot and updating things at the time. She was kind of busy, so uh, Dad took over, and I was just a kid, so she didn't really know about the clients, and then they, I'm guessing they took Dad or something in the files. He, like, holds his head, looking distressed. We don't know what happened. I assume he might. He has a hunch. (laughs) Good luck. (laughs) But, like, he does frown, and, um, there is a moment where, like, he considers saying something but decides to, like, mm-hmm. let the subject go for now. But you do see him, mm-hmm. like, reach into his pocket. Like, okay, he also, reaches... He re- what? What? Huh? I'll, I'll just let it know, like, it's very obvious that Laura's telling the truth. That uh, he and his family legitimately don't know what happened. Alright. Uh, no, that's that's fair. Uh, Azumi's going... You see Azumi, like... um reach into a, a pocket that's inside his coat um and he pulls Blair kind of perks yeah. up and raises his eyebrows like what uh you see him pull out a uh notepad it's a small notepad um and you see him like <laughs> scribble a few things Blair down laugh. <laughs> oh i'm sorry he just literally he's laughing as soon as he sees that it's a notebook of any kind <laughs> Yes, yes. I am a detective, after all. It's important to keep track of these things. Mm-hmm. Uh, in- it, it also, I'm so sorry for interrupting. It kind of strikes you that Lord went from like really sad, confused, to immediately back to happy, bubbly. <laughs> I... Hmm. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I may try to follow up on what you just told me. 
Other than that, Lord though... Is, yeah, Lore is speechless after you say that, by the way. Like, his face is just shocked. In the meantime, though, um, you see him flip to a, uh, a different page and mm -hmm. uh, scribbles something down a lot quicker than he, uh, than he was writing down notes. Uh, but he mm -hmm. tears out the new page that he flipped to and, um, and he gives it to you. On it is a, <laughs> is a phone number. Lord kind of takes it with like both hands uh, held out and like looks at it like, huh? And then he's like, oh. Um, this is the uh, the number for is, the. Uh... Is it yours? Uh, uh, it is the number of the place I am staying at. Uh, there is oh, a chance you... you might get my. Um... roommates before you get to me but if you tell them that um that you were trying to contact azumi they should be understanding yeah laura kind of looks at you concerned again and like first off he like folds up the note very carefully and puts it in like his own little inside pocket and then looks back at you and is like you said this place you were staying um do you not have like a permanent place to stay not in Ironquill. I do in Yeddo. I was oh. lucky enough to find... I was lucky enough to find... Well, more accurately, they found me. Uh, but they were kind enough to let me stay with them. Lore kind of, again, looks like he has some questions. Like... But you've been in Ironquill for a while. You've said you, you've known... Camille for a while. Are uh, is it okay to ask, like, what's... Something feels... What, what happened? Did, was there, like, a case or something that required you to be an Einquil? Yes, you could say that. I, um... He, like, raises an eyebrow. You could say that? Uh... Hmm. I mean, you, I guess you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I mean, no, I, I understand, like, privacy. It's nothing to do with privacy. It's more of, um... You said you read books, right? Lord perks up so happily. He's like, yeah, I love books. Uh, are you it, familiar? It, before, really quick, before you have a chance to say anything, he starts going off about like, oh my gosh, I, I know you haven't been in the professor's ellipsis or whatever, but apparently he has multiple libraries. And can you just imagine the kind of books he must have if he's an alien? Like a, a, like a bit of a spiel that he also gave <laughs> to Mel about like, Oh my gosh, these books, like all the different things it must have. Like, can you imagine the binding and the covers and all the, like, just like off for a second before like, literally it takes a few minutes and he like catches himself and he's like, I am so sorry. <laughs> no, that helps me make this uh, analogy. Um, are you familiar with, um, ooh, what was his name? Uh, Lupine de Arson, the, um, the, the fictional phantom thief. I'm just gonna say yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lord's like, oh yeah. Out, uh, out of character, out of character. Uh, this uh -huh. character is based on uh, Arsene Lupin, uh, the original, uh -huh. the original Arsene Lupin, um, who was a uh, book character, a phantom thief, uh, a gentleman thief specifically. But uh, yeah. Um, what is the author's name? Uh, or in in universe or in... yeah just like in universe information um i have to make note of these books <laughs> okay uh his his uh i don't have a first name for the author the last name is this Ligri. Mm -hmm. um and if you have time i would love to know how you spell the, the arson lupin i know yeah. it's french Oh, um, in universe, it's Lupine. No, okay, Lupine. No, Lupine de Arson. There Lupine we go. I put it in the uh, roll zone. Oh, you're awesome. Anyway, yeah, go on. Um, you are familiar with the Lupine de Arson. He's a uh, phantom thief. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is always a specific detective chasing him. 
Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I know. Are those books older, out of character? Or... Yeah, they are. They are definitely older. How how old? Uh, like fifty uh, years plus, or uh, I I I have not put like an actual time to it. They are at least mm -hmm. a few decades old. Okay, yeah, Lore kind of perks up, and he's just like, yeah, I remember making back copies of those for a library. They needed an archival quality. He nods, and he says, um, it's a bit like that. I have a, um, a rival. A you have phantom, a rival? A phantom thief <laughs> rival. He smiles like, you're interesting, like, but in a fun way, like, <laughs> oh, you got stories. Yes, um, trickster of the spirit rogues. Um, oh, I don't know about the spirit rogues. Um, they're a more they're... recent group, but uh, mm -hmm. what are they? Criminals? It, Sorry, that's by, not right. Yeah, no. He he pauses and he says. By the textbook definition, yes, but... Um, oh, vigilante situation? Yes, exactly. Ah, that's always complicated. Indeed. I'm sorry. Mm. No, I've gotten quite used to it by now, but, uh, yes. I mean, yeah, but... I mean, you can get used to a lot of things and they can still bug you. Well, even as a detective who's been in the um, in the business for as long as I have, it is it is a bit well. Hmm. Let's see if I can find a way to put it into words. As you're talking, Lore kind of pulls the other stool out and he's gestures for you to sit. He sits down. He takes it and he says. Um, Lord's very happy. Yeah, no. Um, there's, uh, even as a detective, it doesn't take much to realize that mm, there isn't always something the law can do when it comes to certain corrupt individuals. Especially if those individuals happen to have power in Yeddo. Yeah, Laura looks pained like he's very aware of that. He's like, yeah, we look at some of the laws that pass through. Um, they don't they don't cover a lot of things that maybe they should, or um, <laughs> it's very obvious that people aren't doing what they should, stuff like that. And uh, Sometimes they do too much. Yeah, also, I mean, Orbital Point doesn't necessarily have police but when your father goes missing and nobody can really do anything you you know that sometimes people suck he nods but that is aside from the point i the case i had come here on was in regards to um my rival trickster um he um left. Well, his team had gone quiet in Yeddo, and then all of a sudden um, he popped up in Inkwell, so of course I came here. And I'm gonna roll a quick deception. That was a 21. Oh, did I lose you? Oh, do I contest that, or...? Uh, you're free to, but your insight is, like, a I mean, flat 20, so, like... Yeah, I wanna... I'm, I'm just gonna, like... I wanna try! I, I, I... Laura will never learn unless he tries. Yeah. Uh... Um, would that be a save, or would that, that would be, be, like, insight. a... insight. That would be insight. Insight, insight. Okay. insight is to contest uh, deception. Um, okay. But um, I, think mm -hmm. you I think you said your insight mod is... is, is just... Yeah, I need to know how deceptive Azumi was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
I've rolled terribly. Gently pats. But like, yes. Um, mm-hmm. He tells you that uh, he came here because of Trickster. Blair completely believes you. <laughs> Yeah, Lorco's like, oh, well, he smiles, like, really happily. He's like, well, I'm glad that you were willing to come all the way to another continent when you have so much experience with, I know it's your rival, but, I mean, more experience is good when you're going after someone. Mm-hmm. So many compliments. Yeah, he just kind of, like, sits there and takes it and, like, uh... Uh, you don't have to roll inside for this. You get the impression that, like, this sort of compliments in, like, regards to, like, his skill set and, like, trying to catch Trickster. He's used to that. Almost as if he's heard it hmm. a lot. Lore is gonna do a slightly bold move and put a hand on Azumi's shoulder and is like, Hey, um... I know I said that, hey, we're friends now or whatever, but I, I did mean it, and if you need me to back off about something, please just tell me. But also, um, it's not hard to tell. I mean, you're a detective, and you've probably seen some not great things that you're probably there's probably something that's bugging you. I mean, there's always something bugging someone. So if you need an idiot, <laughs> he smiles, to talk to who's not going to care what you say and I mean that it does not matter what you've done because you're trying and you'd be surprised uh, at how um, oh my god yeah Laura's just like you'd be surprised at how uh, I I really don't care about your background you could he smiles and he's like you could legit be a murderer I don't care Oh, thank goodness. He got a nat 20 on deception. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Lord kind of lifts his hands, uh, like, jokingly, but you can tell he's legit serious. Yeah, no, he uh, understands that. And actually, before you, uh, when you had taken um, your hand off of his shoulder, he, he there was a moment where he, like, lifted his own hand to, like, gently push yours off but like you you moved it before he could and he just um he just, looks apologetic yeah no he just kind of like gives you a polite smile and he says well i uh i appreciate the sa- sentiment Paref, but um please call me lore lore I appreciate yeah, I, the sentiments, I'm... but um, yeah. we've only just met, and uh, I can't. I'm, quite... I'm not saying. Hmm? Sorry, he's like, I'm not saying you have to do it now, but I'm probably gonna be here for a hot minute. So, I mean, if you help out Camille, we might run into each other again, and. Who knows, at this- he looks so frustrated again, he's like, who knows at this point I'm probably just gonna run into you randomly. I don't know why- the the, the tunes I've met always make jokes about the plot and I'm starting to get suspicious. Uh, I don't believe the plot is a real thing. Uh, I don't know at this point, he looks so exhausted. I do believe that if you happen to have quite a few different people in the same spot in a high traffic location with enough- magic influence things do tend to happen but there's no such thing as the plot okay he looks a little bit relieved <laughs> i see that fully knowing what's gonna happen on sunday <laughs> oh no, i know nothing <laughs> Clutch, i, I know, know you're nothing. driving but i i i point at you <laughs> oh, i'm so afraid bobby <laughs> I'm also laughing because two detectives have met an idiot, and I'm just like, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, gosh. Uh, but he says, he continues and says, um, <laughs> he continues and says, um, the point is, I appreciate the sentiment, but, um, 
Perhaps another time. Yeah, um, Lore kind of looks off for a second trying to think of his words. Look, um, to be completely honest, not that I have been lying, <laughs> he laughs. Uh, look, life sucks. I know that I'm a stranger and I made you uncomfortable, sorry about that. But at least know that someone's worried about you. And kind of already cares if you're going to be okay. <laughs> Laughs evilly. Yeah. <laughs> Me. Yeah. Why he cares? I, I I look at this and I look at how um, Azumi would react, and I'm trying to decide how what he would say. And he says, um, <laughs> "I I'm well aware that there are certain people who care. Um, that just tends to be the case here in Ikeville. Um." But that said, um, oh shoot, what time is it? Ah, oh, uh, we sake. gotta, we can transfer somewhere else if we need to. I am enjoying, no. uh, this commentary, if you're willing. Are you saying that in character, or? Oh, no, I am saying that in person, or did Azumi say? No, Azumi was saying, like, what time is it? Uh, okay, just double checking. Yeah, no. And, like, you uh, see him, like, just startle, and he kind of, like, realizes how long he's been here, and he says, Ugh. Oh, Laura looks so, like, oh, sorry. No, 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 you're, you're, you're fine. I, hmm, I just realized he... that I needed to get some <laughs> paperwork to Detective Moria. <laughs> Laura kind of... You think this is hilarious. Like, he goes from looking apologetic to, like, perking up at the idea of paperwork before he, like, looks embarrassed and then laughs at himself and is like, well, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of missing the company already. Um, you're nice to talk to. Um, if you ever need help with paperwork, let me know. I don't mind. He laughs. <laughs> you know for a fact... You know that, you know, he was a printer's son and he said that he worked on lots of official documents. So he has yeah. seen his fair uh, share of paperwork. Um, I think Azumi, he also. Oh, oh, yeah. No, you go. I think Azumi does like actually give you a laugh at that. <laughs> and he says, I'll keep you in mind. Yeah. Um, Laura looks really hesitant to see you go like he looks legitimately sad that you're leaving even though he's doing an awful job at trying to hide it like this boy is starved for company um he does get up and he starts to make his way to the um to the door but he as he like reaches it his hand is on the doorknob but he does like look over his shoulder to like glance at you and he says lord has followed him to the door very respectfully yeah no like he's still like looking back at you and he says well if you're going to be staying with camille for a time there is a very good chance that we'll again run into each other so um mm -hmm. i hmm trying to figure out how to do this uh they're probably close enough uh, you can try to contest this, but Lore is gonna, like, sneak a really big hug. <laughs> like, you can tell that he legitimately is, like, it is, like, a good hug. Like, eyes squeezed from Lore, like, hugging you, like, I really hope you're okay and I will legitimately miss you. And you remember in that second who Shoal was, Abby, and that he said you remind him of his parent figure who he has not seen in quite some time there is a <laughs> sorry yeah no that was a, a wisdom check uh hang on uh 
Uh, sorry, my roommate's texting me to see if uh, we're still good for plants for tomorrow. Um, uh, sorry about that. Um, I responded a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. That was a wisdom check. <laughs> um, I can roll something if you need me to, but that no, is a 14. That is, no, that that was a wisdom check. He was uh, yeah. to see how he reacted. Um, oh, no. There is definitely a brief uh, moment in which, like... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just remembered their height difference. <laughs> yeah, no, Azumi is... As far as, like, height differences go, Azumi's fine. But, like, really, you give him a hug and he honestly wasn't expecting one even though he probably should have considering the kind of person lore is um, yeah lore was really hesitant but he's like screw it yeah no and he it does... might be a while before he sees this man again and he really is gonna miss him yeah no um azumi kind of tenses uh when you hug him lore squeezes harder uh, that does not help. I'm gonna be honest. Like he's he's not gonna he's not gonna like suffocate him. He's more of like uh, like squeezes harder for a second, sighs and then takes a step back and looks apologetic. Like he doesn't push you off, but he was just like. Okay. Then it was it was lightened. less it was less that like he was letting you hug him and more like he was trying to endure it. Okay, then then I will retcon that, like, Lore is going to be like, okay, he's enduring it, I'm going to hold on until he hates me. <laughs> he really needed a hug. Uh, but, like, yeah, Azumi, when you let go, mm -hmm. uh, Azumi just kind of pretends like that didn't happen. <laughs> Lore is, is, is like, uh, uh, sorry, I just, um needed a hug and I didn't know how to ask you because you were probably going to say no and I'll be better about that in the future. Sorry. Hmm. It might have been a bit much. Sorry. Kind of looks down like, ah, uh, messed up. It's fine. He looks right. up kind of hopeful. I'm all right. Just next time, a bit of a bit more of a warning. Um, yeah, sorry. I've been alone for a minute. Um, Camille hasn't been back in a while. He kind of looks at the clock, concerned. Did you see him earlier today? I don't... I think I was sleeping. I'm not sure. Right. I will... Hmm. He didn't leave a note or anything, though, so... Uh, I don't know where he is. Hmm. If you see him by chance, can you let him know that I'm concerned and would love to know if he's okay? Yes, I... Hmm. I am going to see if... <laughs> he actually quickly runs to his backpack and hands you like a little letter he's like i know this is stupid but this is just like a little note that uh, if you could pass it on to him if you find him yes i hmm. think he takes it uh you've noticed says... that it has very pretty handwriting on it <laughs> it is in an envelope but it has like camille's name very like calligraphy pretty yeah no he takes it he doesn't open it because of course not but he does like Mm -hmm. He does, like, glance over the handwriting, like, oh, huh. Uh, but he does put it into his Lord. pocket. Mm -hmm. I, Lore has proficiency in calligraphy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and um, he says, well, it is a school day. It's entirely possible he, uh, he um, had to... He goes to school? Yes, he's, um, in the first grade, I believe. Uh, oh. It's entirely... Laura assumed that he was homeschooled for some reason. It's entirely possible that he's still in school, but if he did not come back, 
Uh, perhaps something happened along the way, or you know what? I'll keep an well, eye. It looks out. really worried for a second. He has remembering... a tendency to um, get caught Let, up in, yeah. In <laughs> Lord's like, cases. Lord's like, yeah. He said that he has a tendency to run into murderers. <laughs> like, looks really concerned. Not just murderers. Murder cases in general. Yeah, like there was I, one. I figured he'll be fine. Oh, he'll be fine, all right. But um, there was one time uh, he apparently met another detective because a body fell from the sky. Lord just looks like not aghast, but like, what the hell? <laughs> like he doesn't say it, but he's like, how the like almost looks like why is a Toontown slash Einquell like this? And as if it just gives you a face like, yeah, <laughs> that just happens. <laughs> um, but he continues to say, um, I will check with, well, I have to go to Detective Moria's office anyway, so I'll just see if she's seen him. Mm. But, um. Sorry, that was me, not Lore. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yes, I will. I'll be seeing you. Yeah, uh, well, he seems to remember something and quickly digs through his backpack and scribbles something down on a tiny piece of paper. And he's like, this might be helpful. It is um, it is my address and ordinal point and, and my name. He takes it. <laughs> yeah, um, it might help you figure out whatever you'd, you'd like to. Um, he seems to realize you've really got to go and he's like, I, I'll see you later. Uh, be safe. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> he looks like, laughs, and he's like, all due respect. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well, if I can't change your mind, then... I suppose that's that. your no. problem. <laughs> it is my problem. And I... He, like, puts his hands on his hip, and, like, uh, hands on his hips and puffs out a little bit, and he's like, and I got a lot of problems, so you're fine. <laughs> He shakes his head almost fondly at that. Yeah, he like he's smiling, eyes closed and everything, like very definitely laying it on thick, like ha. Uh, but he does uh bid you like one last farewell and then he is out the door. Yeah, Laura just kinda waves and shuts the door and makes sure to lock it like Camille told him to and realizes he left his ramen out and he's like, ah, crap. And so he, like, goes back to reheat it and just starts eating it again. <laughs> and that's where Laura's is left. And uh, Azumi is left. Um, he was about to, like, lock the door behind him because I believe Fletch said that Camille gave Azumi a key. Um, that would make sense. Yeah. Um... <laughs> but, uh, you... Uh, lock the door before he does, so he just kind of just leaves, but in the meantime, mm -hmm. he seems a little concerned. <laughs> oh no. Um, but he is hurrying uh, out of the apartment building and towards the um, Detective Moria's office. And, uh, <laughs> That's where we're leaving it off for today, folks. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Katie, for uh, for playing with me. I'm glad I can wholesomely antagonize your character. <laughs> this it is, is Lore's entire purpose. This is this is this is the kind of bullying that uh, I wanted for Uzumi, So I'm so glad. Good. You're <laughs> very welcome. Uh, how do we end? <laughs> uh, that's uh, very simple. I do an outro okay. like this. Uh, awesome. Thank you, Katie, and thank you to our wonderful listeners who uh, tuned in, both now listening live in our audience. And I'm sorry, uh, Parks, that you came in so late. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, thank you to uh, to the listeners uh, who are listening in the future on the uh, recording. Thank you. Yes, and for now, uh, we'll bid you a good time zone. Have a good time zone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.